Hey everyone, welcome to the kit tour for my brand new Pearl Export Series drum set. Now this is my first brand new drum set in 15 years, ever since I got my very first Pearl Forum. So I'm really excited to get to show you guys this brand new kit, get to show you what's cool about it, some of the new features that make the kit even better than the old export kit, and really just showcase the drum set that I'm going to be playing in all my new videos. Now, you guys know that I played the old export kit, and I played the export ELX series in Ruby Fade, and I've been playing that in all my videos. Now, that's an excellent kit, and I had a great time playing on it, but Pearl called me up, and they were like, hey, we've got the brand new export series kit coming out, and you're uh, really familiar with the old export series kit. Would you like to come up and be the face of the export series kit, the new one, and talk about it, and get to play it, and make some videos and stuff? And so uh, I went up there to try it out. And I mean, it's a huge honor to get to be um, a part of the advertising campaign for the new exports. And it's, it's a huge honor to get to play such a cool drum set. So um, if you want to see that vlog video, you can check it out over here. But the main thing is I went up there to check out this drum set. And it has to be better than my old export. It has to sound better. It has to look better. It has to be an awesome kit for me to say, oh, hey, I don't want to play my old exports anymore. I want to play these. And so I went up there to check it out. And I read up on it a little bit, so I was kind of prepared for what I was going to see, what I was going to uh, know about the kit. And all I can say is I was impressed. These drums are so boomy, so punchy, so, so much low end on these toms. And the kick, is, kick is, just punches you in the face, and the snare was just, everything about it was awesome. I mean, they had tuned it really well, so you have to tune it very well, but... When I walked in and sat down behind that kit, I knew instantly that I wanted to be playing this drum set. So let me take a couple of minutes to show you guys some of the features about this kit that make it even better than the old Export Series kit, which was the best-selling drum set in the entire world. So, you know, if you have to replace the best-selling drum set in the entire world, you know you have to do a good job to make it better. So let's talk about that. Now, right here is the brand new OptiLock mounting system. So what Pearl has done is they've created a new system to mount the drums. When you mount a drum, the amount of surface area that the mount touches affects how much resonance and sustain the drum has. And so you want to touch the drum as little as possible. And now this OptiLock mounting system uses a triangular design that attaches to two of the tension rods and then one to the second air port that the actual drum has. And it uses rubber isolators at all points so that this touches the drum as little as possible, gets rid of any sort of extra noise from the actual mount, and it really maximizes the resonance and sustain of the drums. And what helps it do that are the new low mass lugs. They've designed new lugs for the actual drums that don't touch the drum as much as well. And so the less metal, the less anything touching the drum means more resonance, more sustain, and a better sound. But what makes these drums really incredible is that they're built using Pearl's SST technology, which is the same way they make the top of the line drums at Pearl. Like if you were to go in and order a Masterworks or a reference drum set, they would make those drums the exact same way they make these drums. The same technology. It's really impressive that Pearl takes the time to make their most affordable drums the same way that they make their most expensive, most their, their best drums, their professional level drums. So you know that Pearl is making sure that these drums sound good if they're using the same process that they make the best drums with. And combine the SST technology with the new shell. Now the old export drums that I've been playing were made out of just poplar. These are made out of poplar and some Asian mahogany. So the mahogany really rounds out the tone, it gives it that low end, and it really just provides you with a better tone from the drum. And you'll see that when I get to play it. Um, it's really something that you can't, like I can talk about it all I want, but until you hear it, that's when you're going to actually know, like, wow, that drum sounds really awesome. I, I really want to check that out. So those are the drums. Now I'm using the exact same setup that I've used with my old kit. When I went up there, they were like, hey, we're going to mock up your kit. So when you show up, you can sit down at it and it's like your, your normal kit. So that was really cool that they did that for me. Um, when you get there, the kit was all set up and I sat down and it just it just felt like heaven getting to play on the kit. So I want to talk about the drum sizes. Now if you notice, one, two, three. 
What's up with that? You know, you guys know that I've always done two, one, three. Well, not always. I used to do one, two, three, but in pretty much all my videos for a long time, it's been two, one, three. Well, now it's back to one, two, three. And the reasoning for that is that these new drums have a shallower depth than the older export drums that I played on. This is a 10 by 7, then we've got a 12 by 8, and we've got a 13 by 9. Now on my old export kit, the 10 inch drum was an 8 inch in depth. Now the 12 inch drum is 8 inches in depth. So I can put the 12 inch drum the same height over the bass drum that the, uh, the actual 10 inch drum was. So that's really cool to me because now I can put my drums back in order have them in the same position that they were and not have to deal with playing on drums that are too high or aren't where I really want them. So that's why I went back to that configuration, the one, two, three. I feel it's a good standard configuration and it allows me to kind of move around more drums in, in a quicker fashion. At least that's what I feel about it. So that's why I went back to that. So like I said, it's a 10 by seven, 12 by eight, 13 by nine. Then over here, this is a change for me. I've got a 14 by 14 inch uh, floor tom, and then I've got a 16 by 16 inch floor tom. So this is the first time that I haven't had an 18 inch floor tom in a while. And it's my very first time having a 14 inch floor tom. So I'm pretty excited to get to try those out. They, like I was saying before, these drums, because of the Asian mahogany, even though it's a 14 and a 16 and not a 16 and an 18, the low end coming from these drums is absolutely incredible. I was playing it earlier and I'm going to have to figure out a way to almost like kind of pull back on the low end because these things were just like, just, it sounded like jungle in here. It was, <laughs> there's so much low end coming from these floor toms that uh, it was, it's extremely impressive how much power comes from these drums. Uh, I'm really excited to show you guys what they sound like in a little bit. Now, the 22 by 18 inch kick, same size as what I played before. And like I said earlier, when I walked in, that was one of the first things they let me hear was that kick drum. And of course it was tuned up well, but the thing sounded like a cannon. I was standing out in front getting punched in the chest by this thing. And man, that was one of the most impressive parts of this kit was that kick drum. So driving, so much power, so much, so much energy and just low end punch from this kick. It's incredible that this is their entry level drum set. I mean, that's what I say the whole time sitting behind it is, I can't believe this is something that pretty much anyone could go to the store and pick up. Like this isn't their nice kit, this is their, their this is their affordable one. So that's really impressive to me. And lastly, I'm using the 14 inch by five and a half inch snare drum that comes with the kit. And this is this is a little different for me because I like to use my 13 inch by three inch piccolo. And uh, it's a great pearl piccolo and I love playing it, but I really wanted that deeper tone. I wanted that go back to a fuller size snare for a little while. And this new snare drum from Pearl for the Export Series kit that comes with it, it sounds awesome as well. I mean, once again, you'll have to hear it to really experience it, but the shell on this just gives so much, uh, so much attack. It's got a great pop and it's got a lot of, uh, a lot of kind of feel to it. Like you can play on it and do some nice ghost notes and I was really impressed with the snare drum as well. You'll, if you check out that video I was talking about, you'll hear me say something like, oh man, I wish I could just play this kick drum and snare drum for a little while because that's how good those things sound. It's really impressive. And then over here is my 10 inch by 8 inch M80 Firecracker snare from Pearl. And this is just like an, a Guitar Center exclusive snare and picked it up for really cheap. It's a fun little snare to, to kind of have as an accessory add-on snare and it's really cool because it matches the kit. It has that same jet black finish. So that's pretty awesome. Those are the drums. Those are some of the cool features about them. Uh, I'll have to show you guys what they sound like in a little while. Let's talk a little bit about the foundation and the hardware of the kit. Now just like my previous kit, this is a full rack setup. Uh, the Pearl Icon three-sided rack. I use the straight-sided rack just because I enjoy keeping everything nice and close. And then the actual hardware is once again sort of a mix match. Um, these two right here are the 800 series hardware uh, symbol stands that you'll get when you buy an export kit. It comes with five drums, the hardware, and then it also comes with a pedal I'll talk about in a little bit. But these symbol stands are, are really nice. They definitely, uh, they're sturdy. 
do the job. They have a lot of adjustability to them. So I was really impressed that even their most affordable hardware system is extremely uh, adjustable and extremely strong. That's one of the cool things about Pearl is their, their hardware is absolutely, you just can't top the hardware. It's so sturdy, it's so secure, and it just offers you so much, um, so many options. I mean, there's, there's something like, all these are pretty much convertible boom cymbal stands, so I can switch them from being a boom back to a straight cymbal stand if I need to change something up a little bit. And then the rest of the kit has sort of a mix between like 930 hardware uh, on it as well, and so those are pretty sweet. Once again, I've got the, uh, the little quick lock uh, cymbal things here where you can just pop it right off and pull your cymbal off and then put it right back on, snap it, and it's ready to go. Those are really cool. So that is the hardware. Now, the most important new change as far as hardware goes are my pedals. Now, I talk about a lot. The reason I play the Export Series kit is I like to play something that sounds good, looks good. It's an amazing kit, but it's also an affordable kit. Like I could play an upper level kit. I could play the Pearl Reference Series kit, or I could play a Pearl Masters kit, or a Session. I could play any of those kits, and they would sound absolutely incredible, and they would look absolutely incredible, but this kit does too. And it's a kit that I can tell you guys like, hey, you should go check out the Pearl Export kit. I have a blast playing on it. It sounds awesome, and I think you would love it and you actually could probably go to Guitar Center and if you're looking to buy a new kit, you could afford this kit. And that's what I love about it. Pearl has put so much effort into creating an absolutely incredible entry-level kit that it sounds and looks amazing even though it's still affordable. And that, that really impresses me. Now, my pedals, you guys know that I've played the Demon Drive pedals. And those things are absolutely phenomenal. If you have the money to go and get the Demon Drive pedals, do not even hesitate. Go to the store, get in your car right now, and go to the store and get them because they are absolutely excellent pedals. I love them and I love playing them. But the same kind of rules apply to me. Those pedals are not something that everyone can afford. And so I wanted to play something that I can tell you guys like, hey, this pedal is awesome and you can probably go and get it. And so I walked up to Pearl, sat behind the kit up in Nashville, and they kind of surprised me. They put the new Pearl Demonator pedals back here, and I was instantly a little bit worried because after playing the best Pearl, the best pedals Pearl has to offer, you kind of think to yourself, like, if these aren't the best, am I going to be able to play? Am I going to be able to do what I was going to do on them? Can I? Will I be used to them? Will it feel weird? And so that was what was going through my head, and. Uh, you can actually see my first reaction if you check out that video I was telling you about. I'll put it here again. But I sat down and these pedals look very similar to the, uh, to the Demon Drives. They have the same longboard style footboard. So you get that, you get the same kind of feel as far as the longboard goes. But it's actually a single chain drive pedal. And so the overall action of the, the actual pedal is a, a good bit different than the Demon Drive. And so I was still a little bit nervous about it, but I sat down and I started playing with them and I was like, wow, these are smooth. Like, where did this come from? <laughs> this, is the, this is the affordable series line of pedals. Like, they're, I just started playing and it's just, it reacts. It's not like, it's not a pedal where you're better than the pedal is. It's a pedal where the pedal can do whatever you want it to do, basically. So I was really impressed by those pedals. They look really nice. They have a new uh, custom eliminator style cam that allows the chain to move in a, with a lot of power and a lot of speed. It's also very smooth. So if you're looking at getting some double bass drum pedals and you can't quite afford the Demon Drives, I promise you, you will sit down and you will like these Demonators. They were, they were really excellent. I mean, I sat down and I played them for the first time and I was blown away, which is crazy because I've, I've played the best. So those are the new pedals. Now, I'm going to be using those in all my new videos as far as this export series kit goes. So I'm really excited to get to show you guys those and kind of jam out with them. And then one last thing as far as hardware goes. Right next to the actual Demonator pedal, you'll see a uh, hi-hat stand pedal. And this is Pearl's 930 series hi-hat, which uh, when you get the export kit, you'll get the 830 series, but I'm kind of OCD, and so I wanted to go ahead and get the 930 series instead because the 930 
uh, series hi-hat matches the pedal for the Demon Hater. They look exactly the same side by side, and it's really a cool, uh, a cool look. Like it, it looks really classy, looks really professional, and uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. It was a great, great hi-hat stand, and it works really well. Um, the 830 series that comes with the kit also works just as well. I didn't have a problem with it, but it just has the different footboards. So if you don't mind the footboard at all, go with the 830. But if you want to have the really cool footboard, 930 series pedal is really awesome. So that's that. Now, I didn't mention, which it's really important, if you get the export series kit, the new shell pack with the hardware and everything, it's not a shell pack, it's a full drum set. But if you get the new Export Series drum set, it comes with the 830 Series hardware, but Pearl automatically upgrades you to the Demonator single pedal. And so it's basically exactly like the double pedal setup I have, except it's just a single pedal. And so you get the upgraded pedal, the hardware, and all the drums. It's, it's just such a good deal. Like I, I was blown away by the fact that they are willing to give you the nicer pedal instead of just giving you kind of like a oh hey here's a starter pedal you can try this one out no they give you the demonator pedal which is really smooth really powerful and really awesome so yeah that is the hardware those are the drums um, also got a pearl roadster throne over here really awesome throne nice and cushy good support and uh, it's the first time I got to play a nicer Pearl Throne, which is nice because I have a speed seat up the, upstairs. And it's really portable, but this one's got some more cushion and got a little more support for it. So yeah, uh, other than that, I've got the uh, Pearl Ultra Grip Tambourine over here. This is a brand new uh, tambourine from Pearl. And it comes with a really cool grip on there that you can actually like wrap your fingers in you don't have to worry about it slipping out of your hands or anything like that and then it also comes with the mount so you can quickly mount it and grab it off of your kit and it also has a rubber uh, rim on the top so you can play it with a stick so you can kind of switch off between the two while I was at Pearl they had me uh, <laughs> messing around with it where I was playing with one hand and I would grab the tambourine and play the tambourine and I'd set it back down grab the stick again it was a lot of fun it's a, it's a cool tambourine hopefully I'll be able to bring that into a video or two in the future. All right, so that is the drums, that is the rack, that is the hardware. Let me take a break for a second, throw on some cymbals, and I'll tell you all about those. Um, yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys are liking this kit as much as me because it is, uh, it is a beauty. And it's a good sound and beauty too. So let's get some cymbals. All right, so you've seen the drums, you've seen the hardware, you've seen the pedals, you've seen everything else. Now. Welcome back to my cymbals. You guys already know this setup. This is my setup that I used on my last export kit. And it is all Zildjian cymbals. I use the A Custom series line. I've got the 16 and 18 inch A Custom projection crashes up at the front there. I've got an 8 inch and a 10 inch A Custom splash on the right and left there. And then I've got the 14 inch A Custom hi-hats and the 20 inch A Custom Medium Ride. And so all of those fit very well together. They're all from the same series. They all have uh, the same tonal kind of characteristics. And I really enjoy the musicality of these cymbals. They have a great sound to them and they're really versatile in the sound. I can go powerful on them or I can kind of come back and just do some little cymbal tones. There's a lot of options with these actual cymbals. And then on the right here, I've got a 12 inch, and on the left, no, on the left here, I've got a 12 inch. On the right here, got a 16 inch. Both of those are Oriental Trash Chinas from Zildjian. And same thing goes for my splashes and my Chinas. I really enjoy having sort of effects sounds, uh, stuff that I can put into a song and sometimes do little melodies like a higher to a low, or a lower to a high, or a high, low, high, low kind of thing. And it really gives me a lot of options as far as like musical phrases, musical ideas go. And um, I'd really like to have a lot more Chinas in the future just because I really enjoy the, the sound. And if you notice in my videos, I tighten them down a lot. And that is just because I enjoy a quick China response. I don't really like the lengthy uh, ringing out China. I just like to psh, psh, get that accent and get it out of the way. That way I can do something else. So that's why I do that. And those are the cymbals. They're absolutely gorgeous cymbals. They sound incredible. 
Um, you can hear them in all my old videos and everything. And then I'll also play them a little bit in a little while for you guys. And then after you get through the cymbals, we're back to the drums. Now, no matter how good the drums sound, no matter how well they're made, no matter what's awesome about them, if you don't have good drum heads, you're not going to be able to get the full quality out of your drums. And so drum heads are extremely important. And I always play Remo drum heads. Uh, I feel Remo has the sound that I like, they have the durability that I like, and they have the look that I like. They're incredible heads, and on this new kit I actually went for something a little bit different. Now on my old kit I used to use all pinstripes on the toms, and I would use an Imper X on the snare. Now I keep the Imper X on my main snare here, that's by far probably the best snare head in the world I'd say. That thing, everyone I talk to loves the Imper X and it's an extremely durable head. The coating on it gives it a nice nice response and then it has the black dot in the center so that it's even more durable. This head is really great, gives you a great crack, gives you some good tone, some good sound from the drum and it lasts forever which is great because I beat the heck out of my drums. Now on the toms, since I went with a black kit this time I wanted to do something a little bit different as far as the look of the drums. And so I went with the white coated emperors across all of the toms. And this is the first time I've ever done this. I've never used coated heads on my toms before. I like the, I like the clear ones. But these coated toms really uh, kind of go for a little bit of a different sound. They don't ring as much. There's, there's a little bit less overtones. It's more about the attack and the sound of the drum, which is what I actually go for. So it's, uh, it really fits me very well. And the coated emperors are world renowned. People use them live all over the world in studios all over the world you just can't beat a coated emperor on your drum and the actual durability of these drum heads they're pretty much the most durable drum heads that Remo makes so it's really great for that as well because like I said I beat the heck out of the drums I don't have the time or the money to replace drum heads all the time and so I'd like to get a set of drum heads that look and sound good as long as they possibly can. And if you've seen my Why I Love Remo drum heads video, uh, I actually show the fact that my drum head is cracked and missing some of it, and yet it still sounds really, really good. So that speaks wonders for Remo and how well they produce their heads, how great their heads are, and how long they last. So Remo is definitely what keeps my, uh, my drums sounding good, and uh, it's what I prefer to see when I sit down behind a kit. If it's not Remo, I'm a little bit sad inside, you know? Gotta love the Remo heads. Um, and lastly, you can't have a good sounding kit without something good to beat on it with. And, uh, you know, the sticks get the brunt end of the, uh, of the whole workout. Just beat them up against things, but that's why I use Vic Fresh drumsticks. I like to have sticks that feel good in my hand, are made well, they're very uh, pitch and weight match so that when you get them, they both sound the same, they both feel the same. And I use the Vic Firth Buddy Rich Signatures right now. These drumsticks are, they feel really nice. They're a little bit longer, I think. Um, I haven't really compared them against many as far as the actual length goes, but I'm pretty sure they're a little bit of a longer of a stick. And the tip on these, even though it doesn't look like it would give a lot of definition, actually does give great definition on the cymbals. So it's a really unique kind of sound based on the way the tip is and they last a long time as well, which is really great because I beat the heck out of the drums. I know I say that a lot, but that's kind of my, uh, my goal in life is to put on a show, put on a performance, and show how much I love it, show how much I'm into it, and part of that is the, the heavy hitting that I do. So to have drumsticks that can stand up to it and can take it is really awesome. And not to mention the fact that the white coating looks really nice up against black. It looks great in my videos, and it feels good in your hand. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not really obnoxious like some sort of the coatings that some drumsticks have. It feels smooth. It doesn't, it doesn't rub off your skin like some of the other sticks I've tried, but it also provides just a little bit of grip. So those are the Vic first sticks. And those stick holders that I have there are extremely great. You'll see in some of my videos where I break a stick and I can just reach over and grab them. And those are only like 15 bucks online. So if you're looking for something to hold your sticks, those Vic First stick holders are awesome. That is my kit. That is the brand new Export Series drum set. Um, I'm extremely excited to show it to you. This beautiful jet black color is just, it's stunning. It looks so good. It looks so classy in this room. And I mean, this is the most affordable, best-sounding kit you can find out there. This thing is 
It sounds so good. It looks so good. I can't, I can't speak anything but wonders of it because I'm so impressed by how great it sounds. I loved my old export and the new export. I just love even more than the old export, which is, uh, is still kind of hard for me to believe because I was, I was so much in love with that old kit. I used to play it all the time and it, it was great in my videos, but this is a new export kit. You can go get the five piece with the hardware and the new Demonator pedal and uh, you can get it for like 600 bucks which is how much I spent on my brand new forum drum set which the forum was a great starter kit for me but it's not the kit that this export is it's nowhere near the kit that this export is the drums were not made with the same woods that this is and they, they weren't made using the SST technology so it's just incredible how great these drums sound and look for the price that you can get them for not to mention one thing that is probably most impressive to me about Pearl Drums, one of the reasons that I absolutely love the company and love the drums they produce is that they stand behind their products. You can get a drum set, you can get this drum set right here, this, this export series kit, you can play it for life because they give you a lifetime warranty. So, I mean, there's, there's not a single other drum manufacturer out there that tells you buy the kit and if anything breaks on it, we'll fix it, no matter how long it is from now. And that's what Pearl does, because Pearl stands behind their products. You buy it once and you play it for life, and that's, that's just how it goes. This kit, even though it's the most affordable kit that Pearl offers, it sounds good enough that if you wanted to, you could buy this kit and you could play it for the rest of your life, because you got the lifetime warranty and the drums stand up to everything. They sound great, they look good, you don't, there's no reason to have to get a nicer kit unless you just want to go ahead and step up and get one of the nicer ones. So, that's the new export kit. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for checking out the kit, and uh, I'm going to play a little bit for you guys just so you can get a feel for the sound. And, um, yeah, I am so honored to be a part of Pearl, I'm so honored to be um, one of their artists. I'm so honored to get to play on this beautiful drum set and make music for you guys. Um, I can't even describe how cool it is to be a member of the team and, and to, to be able to, to represent these drums. Like for them to, to say like, hey, we want Casey to be the guy that, that shows off these export drums. And so it's a huge honor to myself and I, I can't wait to show these off to you guys and kind of show you why you need to go out and get an export kit. Um, yeah, let's, let's play. Go get your export kit and we'll, uh, we'll jam out together. You can get the same color, same look that I've got right here. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you check out uh, some other videos with this kit in it. I'll be posting some of me playing the songs and other things like that really soon. And then at the end of this video, I'll give you the option to go check out the vlog video that I have of my trip up to Pearl. You get to see the Pearl headquarters. You get to see me playing up there. You get to see me testing out this kit, some of my first experiences. So it's a really cool video. It's one of the coolest experiences of my life. Thanks again for watching. Check out the export kit. Love Pearl drums. See y'all later. Have a good one.